two things about South Africa. They just were either very nervous, they weren't good enough, um, and they were, they were very poor early on. Mexico played well. Oh. A, real, a real feature of their play oh. um, in this game, and against England when, when they played them at Wembley, is they, they attempt to get the ball back right up the pitch, to press high up the pitch, and oh. win it against the South African team. You know, they got a bit of a breakaway. Dos Santos, who failed to make his mark at Barcelona, Tottenham, and Galatasaray, is arguably the best player on the pitch in this game. Everything they've done going forward, he's generally been involved in. Yes, because all they did. Going down the right hand side. Let's just sit down. For um, South Africa's having I mean, a difficult afternoon. You have to go on. There's a second to everything. Just the left back here. This is Frank. But that's the game I thought was a great save. Because the goalkeeper, at that point, only has to make himself big. Just to stop the ball running out. No matter what to stop it with, as long as they stop it. Here again, the goalkeeper just finds himself in the near post to the group. A free kick from uh, was correctly ruled out because the keeper there's only one man on the line and there needs to be two people between the ball and the goal. Uh, when you see a replay, you see on the graphic uh, that there's only one man uh, between the, the Mexican uh, player and the goal. The keeper actually runs past the last Mexican uh, forward, so there's only one man there. That's clearly offside. The right. Oh. To just come back into the game. I think that you, we might see. Uh, it improved South Africa in the second half. You now early on they couldn't get the ball at all, but at least towards the end, I mean they did have a few attacks, holding on to the ball a lot better here uh, than they did in the first, well, first 45 minutes of the game. And Mexico do have a weakness down the left-back position. You can see that they left-back too far in, and I think that could cause some problems in the second half. If South Africa do get at the ball, there's left-back missing again uh, from that position. So it could, it could make a bit of a difference to them in the second half. But we'll get some encouragement from that. If you go in at half time and you know you, you could be three, four behind and you're not, then you've, you've nothing to lose that. So they might be, I'd say they were a bit nervous early on, but this was a good chance. This was late on in the second half. You know, he's only like a couple of feet away from that. You see it coming across. You got to get any touch on it, it's in the back of the net. So they didn't do it. But Shabalala with a yeah, magic goal. They give away cheaply, I think that's Primar ends up with a ball, little square ball, quick, some quick passing, which I haven't done a lot of, and this is a great pass. Great pass. The one thing you said about Mexico defending, they don't have any legs to the centre of the defence. They've still got a job to do there. I mean, question marks about the goalkeeper, not on this goal, but his overall play. He's not the biggest goalkeeper. And this is not even near us. It's past him. It's past him before he even moves. A great finish. And, and from that moment on, you're, you're fancying South Africa. But the goalkeeper's a question mark for for Mexico, for me. I've done it before. Not sober. <laughs> <laughs> I've barely done it in Lily's. Um. <laughs> Could have done much worse, really, defending. Uh, I made as, as many mistakes as they did. I uh, really tried. Good ball in. Uh, comes to Marquez, and I think he just kicks it, but we'll see that later on. But this is the marker from uh, uh, South Africa's defensive point. It's a short corner kick, which they shouldn't have left to be taken anyway. Excellent. Four, one, two, three, four, five defenders. Nobody marking anybody there. They're looking out as if they're blaming somebody. And you can see from this position, they should have been out earlier. Now once again, to this position, look, the players we marked. There's one player on the centre, centre uh, on the penalty spot, don't know who he is. Watch what he does. He follows his cross. He just gets out of the way. One fella stays back, leaves the three of them on side. Marcus hits him. You see the cross of Marcus. I think Marcus is trying to hit it into the far corner. This is a good cross, good ball, but one player, all the others getting out of, out of the way. And uh, came, come here, what's it to Marcus? Look, yeah, I think he's trying, I don't know what he's trying to do that. I think he's trying to knock it in the far corner. And it's not clear. But uh, it, it, was, it was from South Africa's point of view, defending, uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't count the mistakes. The chances developed. Yeah, they could. Um, if, uh, the centre forward player that worked hard up front on his own, uh, he has the best chance probably. But uh, that was that was not in the half chance. The fullback did, uh, actually did well there. Uh, uh, Sacido, yeah, he did well there. Uh, he's an experienced player playing with Stuttgart. But uh, that, this is a good ball. And now, the question here was it a penalty? Um, and arguably, it was a penalty. The referee from Uzbekistan uh, was certainly no homer because if he was, he would have given a penalty there. I don't know what the lads think. I think it's touch and go, maybe not. Uh, again, long ball, and as Graham said, very slow at the centre of the defence. That was a really great chance. That was in the 89th minute. Uh, and this is a fair that he's got a really good chance here. He doesn't get quite happy.